welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking 2019. Year to date results so far. So, this is from January through, we're mid, not quite halfway through June, almost. Actually, tomorrow is June 14th. So, this is through today, the 13th. 268,436, a nice, nice year. I've been very focused this year. I've been very, very focused this year. And I'm excited about the, the rest of the year, actually. And, and really the summer. I think the summer earnings season starting July is going to be a big one. So anyways, if you'd like more information, you can email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. Call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So earnings season happens four times a year. And it makes a good trading time for people that want to trade, that want to take uh, their money and turn it around. You know, when you deposit money in a savings account, you're in 1%, 2%. When you're trading the market, you could take $500 and make $500 in five minutes. So you're turning your money over and putting it to work for you faster in the market. However, that being said, there's challenges to day trading, active day trading, mainly that you have to know what to do. You have to take each stock that you choose to take, whether you go long or short, in the right direction. And so a lot of people have problems with that. They really don't know how to read market direction, okay? So you have to learn how to do that, or stock-specific direction, I should say, as well, and then you figure it out, and then you take the trade before the momentum comes in. So I teach people how to do this in a class, but these are all the trades called in the live room this year. Spy, lost, then won, closed the beginning of the year. Then I was sick in here. Lulu was a good one. Netflix worked. SIG was a loss of first trade, second, third one worked. AXP was a loser, QQQs worked. Market closed the 21st, Martin Luther King. SWKA was a really nice gap. <clears throat> that was a while ago, actually, I haven't looked at that stock in a while. 23rd was COF, MKC was a loser, QQQs was a winner, Starbucks small game. CAT to close out the month worked, GME worked, and the market was very bullish in January. We started out after that drop up in December, we really rallied. T lost, then second trade worked. Q's lost, second trade worked. Spy worked. 31st was X, nice one. QQQ's and V was a loser. <clears throat> that was January. Hard to believe it's almost July 4th. No trades in the first and fourth off in the fifth. EA lost, Twitter won. Carb took two shots. One one lost, another one gained. No trades on the 11th. UAA was a stop. Guild worked. Spy worked. Tiva was a stop. Spy lost. Spy gained here. NTAP lost. Second one, it's just totally failed. MGM was a winner. Cisco was a loser. Spy winner on the 15th. Again, market was very bullish in this year, at the beginning of the year. Market closed the 18th. WMT was a winner. CBS lost. The second one won. DPZ was a winner. KHC was a winner. Room closed on the 25th. Cat was a loser, HD was a loser, and SJM was a loser on the 26th. WTW was a nice gap. Winner on the 27th and HPQ on the 28th. Spy lost, second trade worked on the 1st. QQQs was a loser, TV day off. Trip was a loser, Target was a loser, Target was a winner. This is in the 6th, KR was a winner. Kosh took two shots and needed it, but it really was worth it. Lost in the 1st trade, second one winner. No trades on the 11th. Stitch fix just did not work at all. This didn't work as an option or a day trade. Two losers on that. Off of the 13th, DJ was a loser in the first trade. Second one, big winner. No trades on the 15th. OS Take Key lost. Spy lost. Facebook winner. I don't know how many trades we've done on Facebook this year. I should go back and look at that. I should look at that in that chart later. 319 was DSW was a winner. FDX was a loser on the first trade. Second one, winner. And the third one just didn't follow through. 21st was GS loss, CSIQ won, Nike winner, no trades the 25th, 26th, TV day off. 27th was Len, first trade lost, second and third one worked really good, that was a wild one. Lulu was a winner, off the 29th. Spy was a winner, WBA, lost in the first trade, lost in the second trade, third one won, QQQs was a winner, Qs winner, Spy winner, April off. Then BA, winner. BA, lost here. Disney, big winner on the ninth. Disney, lost on this trade. And the second trade, QQQs was a winner. Spy was a winner. BBBY, lost on the first trade. WTW, big winner. Disney, two trades in this winners. Been a lot of trades in Disney this year, too. 
QQ Who's was a loser, second one winner. First Disney loser, second one winner. And the 16th was Break Even Q's BEC winner. IBM was a loser on the 17th, QQQ's loser, then was a winner. Apple, huge winner, 17th. 18th and 19th, room closed. Apple, small one, killed it, 22nd. Facebook was a winner. Twitter, big winner on the 23rd. IRBT was a nice gap. Two trades in that, the 24th. I think that was earnings. 25th was Mo, nice winner. MMM, failed. XLNX, huge winner, and two trades. That was a really good gap. 426 was INTC at last. WDC, huge one on the 26th. No trades, the 29th. Then the 30th, GLW, first trade lost, second one on, or the wit, second trade lost in the Y. That was a weird symbol. MGM won in both trades. Then May. May overall was just a really, really very interesting month for the market. Apple, really big winner, and you think about this, to start out the month of May. Then HLF lost on both trades on the second. ATVI, first trade lost. FTNT first, second trade lost. QQQs was a winner, and SPY was a winner. The market started to change tone in here in May. Fast was a loser on the 6th, and Nike was a winner on the 6th. SPY was a winner, first and second trade on the 7th. DDD was a winner on the 8th. QQQs was a winner. SPY was a winner. SYMC small loser, SPY winner on the 10th. SPY winner on the 13th, and TIVA winner on the 13th. No trades the 14th. Tiva, winner, Spy, loser, SWKS was a winner, 16th, Baidu was a winner on the 17th, Baidu was a winner, two trades on the 20th, KSS was a winner, 522 was low, twice, big winner, Baidu again, winner, JWA, winner, QQQ's winner, May was a good month, vacation then, Memorial Day, Facebook was a winner on the June 3rd, TV day, no trades on the 5th, Baidu, this trade loss, AEO was a winner, and Domo was good on the 7th. Lily was the big one really this week. Lily was a winner, then CRM was a winner, HDS was a loser, Lily was a winner, QQs was break even, Facebook winner, Facebook loser the 13th, and Twitter was a winner today. So everyone always says, what's a beginner risk, advanced trader risk? You have to take the risk you can afford, whatever that happens to be. So an advanced trader risk is between 1,500 and 2,000, but most of these were closer to 2,000 risk here towards the last two months. But I would say if you can risk $200, that's fine. Again, your results are dependent on the trades of the quality of the gap. You are looking to turn your money over once. If you risk 200, you're trying to make 200 each trade. That's totally realistic. And $200 per day times five is 1,000 bucks a week. And that's four grand a month. So you have to think of it like that. You have to look at it at the whole, per day, per week, per month, per, over the course of the year. So many people get starry-eyed. And some of these were really big trades. But you have to be able to afford the risk because, as you know, some of these trades stopped. So you have to account for the stops when you're looking for it. So you're looking for the high win ratio, which means you know, high win ratio. It doesn't mean every trade works. It means you put in the stop, and I teach that in the class. And if the trade stops out, then you will lose. And sometimes we took retakes on those same symbols, which you saw in the reviews. So I was going back in there. Some days we needed to do something more than once. Sometimes I do something and I get immediately off of it. So you, that's, that's the benefit of being in the room and following the calls. But I will tell you that uh, you will get to this point and you will get there faster than you think as long as you follow the system and learn it and do it and listen to what I'm saying in the trading room. So it's all about financial freedom. You were looking to do this for yourself, whatever the purpose may be. Part-time income, full-time income, just on the side is extra money. That's something I think you have to sit down and think about and be aware of before you start to trade. And also, how much can you afford in each risk per trade? You have to give yourself at least two, three trades a day, even though some many days you only do one. You have to account for at least more than one. So I teach a class once a month. It's called the Golden Gap Course. Next class is June 22nd and 23rd, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up and register. Again, class is online. I do a combo course, which is a Golden Gap and Trends course for $64.99. That class is online too. Both the classes are online. You can save $500 if you sign up together. The Trends is normally $1,000. And the annual subscription 
It's $49.99 for the newsletter if you just want the options trades. I do not call the same trades in the room as the options letter, so you need to know that. All of these trades I just went over were day trades, were equity trades. They were not options trades. Options are different, but I'm letting you know if you don't have the time to day trade in the morning in the room between 9.30 and 10, you're not going to get these calls that we reviewed. The trades are emailed to you on the options newsletter, and again, they're not every day. Some days you get none, some days you get one, some days you get five. It, you know, it really depends on how many good gaps there are, but they're usually inexpensive stocks so we wouldn't be equity trading. So they're not the same ticker symbols, although some, some tend to be. Like Facebook, we're doing it, usually I'll call the same thing. Like if we short Facebook, then I may call put at the same time, just to give you an example. And Disney was one of those ones that we day traded, and that was a call, okay, or many, many calls. Anyways, good luck everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of June. And email me at melissathestockswoosh.com if you're interested in signing up for the options newsletter or the class or if you have any questions.